Hey dudes, what's up? This is Lady Fantastic coming at you on a Sunday morning. Uh, I want to come preach the gospel to you. Uh, not in the traditional sense, by any stretch of the imagination. So, I uh, recently watched The Boys, um, based off the comic run, and Amazon produced it. I thought it was really good. I thought it's basically an accurate representation if, of uh, how people with super abilities would behave if you raised them in a shitty environment, right? So here's the thing that I want to say about superpowers, superhumans, and why we tend to see the same shit happen. Um, and, and I mean, you take this even back to Greek mythology, Roman mythology. Um, you have these scenarios where you've got very human people and you give them very human powers and you watch the folly, right? There's, it's always tragic. Um, but that's the thing is that, um, in the boys, they they have they have some very supernatural powers but they're still human they still have human minds so it's like what what are we as humans well we're primates what are primates they're actually particularly violent mammals we just happen to be self aware of that okay so in the situation like the boys, I guess I, you couldn't see any other, I couldn't see any other ending than what you saw because even though the dude's got laser beam eyes, even though the chick's super powerful, even though dude can talk to fish, they're still human. They still have very basic monkey emotions. I mean, all that's, that's all we are is we're sentient monkeys and we're still violent. So until that changes, which, I mean, you, I see someone like, you know, Charles Xavier or, you know, even though this isn't the, like the comics, but like uh, uh, Jean-Luc Picard, like not knocking it up a level in terms of we can behave better. And until we remove ourselves from very basic, um, primitive, primal monkey think, um, there's really not much that's superhuman about us. That is is my Jesus speech. Miss Kitty says, hey, you guys have a good one. Bye.